fire. Sweetie, I'll let it burn. Oh, what about the house? Let the house burn. Showing two red lights. Meaning? It's positive. Is that why you're looking like this? Well, come on, don't worry yourself. Tomorrow, I'll book an appointment with Dr. Ben to get rid of it. Get don't rid worry. of what? Get rid of what, Max? Get rid of the baby. No. Not this one. Not anymore, okay? Never. I'm not doing it. Why? I am not ready to father a child now. I am not ready for such responsibility. I love you. I want both of us alone to be in this house. I don't want any distraction. Max, I have been under the knife for your sake four times now. For goodness sakes, this is my life we are risking every time. What if this is my last chance at getting pregnant? I'm not doing it. I will not do it. Are you okay? Are you talking to me that way? Did you smoke anything? Are you high on cheap drugs that you have the effrontery to talk to me in that manner? Oh, you want to fool me into fighting a child, right? I am not responsible. I do not want a child. You will get rid of this baby. Maxwell. If you like, you insult me. If you like, you abuse me. Say anything you like. But you see this pregnancy. I am not getting rid of it. I will not do it. You think I'm a fool, eh? You want to lure me into having a baby? Did we discuss this? Is this pregnancy for both of us or for you? I am the man. And I am saying that I do not want the pregnancy. I'm saying that you cannot force me. You will not, if you like, you shout, abuse me, cause me, say anything you like. But you see this particular pregnancy, this very one, I am keeping it. Nothing will make me remove it. Excuse me. I refuse to be forced into marriage. Even if I want to get married, not with a child inside her womb. If Chelsea is ready and willing to be with me, she has to get rid of this thing she called a child in her tummy, come back, embrace me, then I love her the way I want to love her. And that is what I want. What I want. That will not happen. I will not sit and watch you get rid of the heir of this family. Okay, let's just even imagine that I want to get married. I don't want to get married with a baby on the way immediately. No way. How can you sleep with a woman without protection? And you don't want children. You can't sleep with a woman without protection. You don't expect her to get pregnant. She knows how we'll do it. Abortion? Mom, she has done it several It was new. And I said I will not do it again. Oh. Yes. I am done doing it. So please, we have to get married. Oh, you're raising your voice at me. You're talking back while I'm talking. Don't you think of her life? I'm telling you that you are joking. Then you should get ready to forfeit your inheritance. Because it's your father's decision. So this is style. This is your plan, right? Using my parents against me for what I do not want to. Right? Good. You may have succeeded in getting married, but I tell you that you must suffer in this marriage. I will make this marriage a living hell for you. 
as long as there is this marriage by force and having this baby that you claim you want to have, I will suffer you. You will hear me. As long as you get married to me, that's fine by me. Because I will neither have this child out of wedlock nor raise this baby without his father. Good. Your plan is to destroy my joy and my life, right? No problem. Let's see who gets destroyed first. As long as I live, as long as I'm concerned in this house, you will never have peace. I will make sure that this marriage becomes hell for you. Bet me. He really said all that to you? He even said no. But well, I don't even care. The fact is, we'll be getting married soon. And he will learn to accept not just the marriage, but the baby. What? Is this really what you want? For somebody to see marrying you as a mistake? Girl, don't worry. Maxwell loves me and I love him too. Yes, he'll come around. But do you really want to bring your child into such hostility? Well, it is said that when a woman gives birth to a child, the father learns to love the child the minute he holds the child. Yes, he will come around, I assure you. And he will thank me later for marrying him. Hmm. If that's what you think. Yeah. Let's just be hopeful it works out that way. It will work out. been asked to get married, not to commit suicide. Take it easy on the drinks. <clears throat> Why are women like this? Why? We were good together. We were having fun. We were enjoying ourselves. When will she get pregnant? We didn't discuss that. She didn't have any reason to get pregnant for crying out loud. And now, they, they are forcing me to get married to her. It's not fair. Fair? You won't talk about being fair. Maybe you should ask yourself that question. This lady has gone through the knife over and over for you. Have you thought of the fact that she could have lost her life? Do you even think of her and her well-being? This is not fair. This is not what I planned for myself. This is not what I've been envisaging. Look, I want a better thing for myself. I want to be left alone with the woman that I love. Maxwell, this is your reality. Unless, of course, you want to lose everything. Me that kind of question again. You have lost the right. Just look at you.
it's okay, Mom. Everything will be fine. Yes, Mom. He will get married to me. Yes, just don't bother, okay? Your baby girl will be all right. Just concentrate on your health. Yes, Mom. I love you. I think you should start getting used to it. So you think that this marriage would have held if not the pressure from my parents? I don't care who shoved this marriage down your throat. The fact remains that we have a child to take care of, okay? So please, start getting used to it. And once again, happy married life. Don't get too excited because this marriage will bring destruction to both of us. Rubbish. You are very strange, you know. I mean, it's your wedding night and you should be home with your wife, yet you're here having a drink with me instead. Come on. I'm not married. Chelsea was the one that got married. I am still a single man, ready to mingle. Maxwell, you are a married man, okay? And you have to start behaving as such. The earlier you get that into your head, the better. I do not accept this marriage. I was forced into it. As your friend, again, I will tell you, okay? Chelsea being pregnant should be a thing of joy. You should be celebrating. Okay, not sitting down here drinking with me. There are many a couple out there praying day in, day out for the fruit of the womb. You have been blessed with it and you are here killing it. All the blessings that is coming your way. I am not like. I'll tell you this. I'm very proud of Chelsea and the decision that she's taking. Well, too bad. There are not many a couple out there waiting or praying, seeking for the fruit of the womb. I don't want it. Listen. Are you here to drink with me as a friend or here to criticize me? No, I want to know. If you're not ready to drink, you can go home and get someone that is willing to vibe with me. Is that understood? What is that? man in his right thinking senses will leave his wife and go out there to drink with his friends on his wedding night. Who does that? You're talking to me. Yes, I am talking to you, Maxwell. It's you I'm talking to. Well, you are perfectly right in describing me because I am not in my right senses again. Because no man in his right senses will want to live with a woman that wants to destroy him. You have finished my life. Look at me. No, just take a good look at me. You have turned my head upside down. I am not thinking straight again. But you see this thing that you did. I will never forgive you. My God will punish you. Maxwell. Is that how you feel about me? I am still a single man, Chelsea. Very, very single. Maxwell, is that how you feel about me? Maxwell!
No food here. Chelsea! 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 Where's my breakfast? The cupboard is empty. I'm so sorry. I was having morning sickness. So I I couldn't do anything, but not to worry, I'll just quickly ruffle up something for you to eat. Please. Did you hear yourself? No, did you just listen to the rubbish you just vomited now with your mouth? I said I'm sorry. Because you were having morning sickness. That was why you couldn't make my breakfast. So I have to go out now in an empty stomach. What did I do to you? Why you have changed? Before this pregnancy, you used to force food down my throat, even when I wasn't hungry. I warned you never to get pregnant. I warned you! Did I not beg you? I said, remove this pregnancy, terminate this pregnancy. You refused. Have you not seen it? Now, it's affecting our lives. It's affecting our love life. It's affecting us. It is diminishing us. You don't have to shout. I can just... I don't have to shout. Okay. I shouldn't complain. Because you're pregnant. Women. Women. That is how you guys are. Just hold on. I can... Get rid of this thing. This thing is not for us. It's not for... It's not working. No problem. Thank you very much for stabbing me. Bravo. Thank you. You don't have to go. I can just... Sound these days. Can't one have peace in his house? Hey, my friend, anytime you want to vomit, go to the guest room so that I don't need to hear all this rubbish that you're vomiting. <coughs> Nobody asked you to get pregnant, though. You chose to get pregnant. So don't use it to disturb me. Go to the guest room to vomit. <coughs> Let me leave this house. has done it. You now look very ugly. You are surrounded as a football. So shapeless and irritating. Maxwell! For heaven's sake, I am pregnant. Can you mind the words you say to me? Wow, have you said it? Because of pregnancy, I cannot express myself in my own house. I cannot. I told you, you don't have to be pregnant. You don't have to be pregnant! Sleep alone! What is this? What's wrong with you? Please. Why are you screaming my name as if the world is coming to an end? <coughs> what do you want me to do for you? I... <laughs> Hello, madam. Please, 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 I need your help. Please come and take me to hospital. Ah. Which hospital? 
take you to the same hospital that I've been begging you for months to come so that we can go and see the doctor. You don't need to go to the hospital. <laughs> Come on, please, 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 I'm in serious, please, please. Ah. I am watching football. Hello? Please, Master, please, please, I need your help. Please help me. Please, please don't go, please. Help, help me. Just help me drop my back, please. Just help me, please. Master, if you Chelsea. don't help me, please. If you don't help me, me and this baby will be hot, please. Help me. Oh. Listen, nothing will happen to you because I know you are a very strong woman. And for the baby, anything can happen to the baby. It's not my business. But for you, my dear baby, you will be strong. You are strong, okay? You can withstand this because you chose it. I told you, do not get pregnant. Pregnancy is like this. It will scatter your life. He said, no. I will not be part of this. I am watching my football before you called me. You were calling me as if the world wants to come to an end. Suta, please. I, 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 I take permission so that I can go and okay. continue okay, my please, football. Please let me find my phone. Let me call Vera, please. Please, 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 please find my phone for me, please. I, I'm home. Of, of course I'm home. It's my house. You are unbelievable, Maxo. Wow. This is your wife we're talking about. Wife is in labor and you are sitting down here. What sort of a man are you? I don't understand, Gachi. It's her baby and she wants to give birth to it. This is unacceptable, Max. A husband isn't supposed to behave this way. Come on, get up. Get up, let's go to the hospital. Now, are you married? You're not married. So calm down. The only way you can pull me out of this shit is only if you want to pull me in your body bag. Are you 
you sure this is really what you want? Because he was acting as if we were invading his privacy when we walked in. What do you want me to do? He's my husband and the father of our son. He has to learn to accept it one way or the other. This is not the time where a woman forces a man into marriage because of pregnancy. Or even remains in a marriage because of a child. Or don't you feel like your child is already feeling unloved by his father? Vera, should I just get up and pack my bags and walk out of our marriage? So that people will see me as one of those women that couldn't keep their homes? Chelsea, marriage is not a bondage. It should bring you happiness and peace, not sorrow. Every marriage has its own issues. Couples just walk towards making it better and living with it. Are you trying to convince yourself that you're in the right marriage? Mm. Is that what you're trying to do? Honestly, I, I don't even know. I, I don't just know. This is you justifying nonsense. What is all this cry, cry up and down? Why is that baby crying as if the world wants to come to an end? That is because the baby is either hungry or needs attention. Then attend to him! What kind of rubbish is that now? My house no longer looks like my house. I cannot do anything in my house freely again just because a useless child is just here. My child is not useless. This child belongs to two of us. I did not impregnate myself. Stop calling him useless. What kind of a father calls, calls his own child useless? He is not my son! He's your son. You got pregnant. Did you tell me you were getting pregnant? You have a baby. Did we agree that you're going to have a baby? Listen, it is your trouble. Don't allow me to it. I am not part of this. Now, eh? start thinking of going to the guest room with him. Is that understood? What kind of rubbish is that? I can no longer feel free in my house again just because a, a cry of a useless boy is disturbing me. I can't walk. I can't do anything. My child is not useless. I can't even touch my wife anymore. My child is not useless. This child belongs to two of us. My child is not useless. If you want this boy to survive, you better back to the guest room. Simple. God, what is going on here? Why will you barge into this place like this? Is that how to open a door? That is because since you and this thing you call a child entered this house, everything has been wrong in this house. Everything! Look at how everywhere is smelling. So, if I came in here with a guest, this is how this place, we pursue them with a bad smell. A smell that, that is like a dead rat. I'm sure you know how a dead rat smells, okay? I was so pulled and I cleaned him up. What do you mean by a dead rat again? Meanwhile, you told me to leave the room for you. And we left the room for you. So why are you here disturbing us? Why am I here disturbing you? Yes! That is because the smell of you and this baby have changed the entire household. If the baby poo-pooed, take the baby to the bathroom. That is where the business of poo is being done. Not bringing the baby in the whole house, smelling anyhow as if there's the dead rat here. Better still, if we cannot take the baby to the bedroom, go outside and throw the baby outside. Killer of peace and joy. Wicked people. Please just go. Go away so that we can have our peace. Please go. Please, please, 
just go back to your son. He's more important. Oh, you think I'm a piece of a uh, machine that you can just turn on and off at will? Maxwell, look, don't talk like that now. He, he was crying. I wouldn't have left him like that all by himself. Chelsea, get out of my room. Please, don't be like this. Do you want me to shout out to you? Hmm? Get out. Children. They spoil everything. They spoil your moment. They spoil your fault at will. <coughs> I've told you I don't want to see this child around me. and disturb in my house. You will stay here so we come and take care of you. Rubbish. Nonsense. Nonsense. I want to see the sight of the child. What rubbish is this? Outside. What do you mean outside? Did I not tell you that I don't want to see the sight of that boy in this house? Has English failed you? You don't understand English anymore? Maxwell! Chelsea! What kind of unreasonable man are you? Unreasonable in my own house. Yes, you are very unreasonable and wicked. Yeah. God forbid. No wonder. It is said that when you see a small girl and start playing small, small Ojoro with the girl, immediately you sleep with the girl, the girl will bring you from that height to her level. It has happened. Maxwell, let me warn you. Mm -hmm. You can do anything you like with me. You can maltreat me the way you like. But when it comes to this child, you see this child, I will repeat myself again, Master. When it comes to this child, better be careful with me because I will not tolerate it. Wicked, horrible human being. God forbid. Just. I don't understand why he treats this child like an object that he doesn't want. Like a liability. What don't you understand? This guy wants you but does not want the baby. Or do you want him to send you an email to that effect? See, he sees this child as a rival, there, eh? And he's pissed at the fact that you forced him into marriage because of pregnancy. Babe, it is either Maxwell or this baby. No this and no peace. But I'm not going to separate myself from my child. And I didn't get myself pregnant now, did I? I know, and he knows that too. Try having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with him. Make him understand that this child will not come in between both of you. You get? Like, let him see that your heart is big enough for both father and son. Explain these things to him now. Let's see if he'll receive some sense. And if he doesn't? Ah, we'll get him some. A few punches here and there will definitely do the trick. Fair you know. <laughs> so what do you want? If it's money or anything that concerns that boy, I am not interested. It's a lost battle. Can we talk? Talk about what?
about everything. I do not understand you. What do you want? What do you want from me? So what exactly do you want? Here used to be a very lively place. We had so much fun together. We did so many things together. We cooked together. We made love at odd places. People used to envy us. But ever since we got married, this whole place just turned to a war zone. I don't even envy myself anymore. What exactly is the problem? Okay, good. Now that you want us to have this conversation, I will tell you what I want. Please do. Tell good. me. What I want is to love you like no other would ever. What I want is to take care of you. What I want is to make sure I take you to places that you have always wanted to go to. Have quality time with you. Have privacy with you. Just you and I. I'm sure you know that I love you so much. That child was a distraction. I can't imagine going out with the one that I love, thinking that there is a child somewhere at home that needs to be taken care of. I can't imagine being with my woman and I am panicking that a child at home has not eaten. I can't imagine that. I want to love you. I want to be there for you. Just you and I. All this came crashing. Immediately, you decided to have that baby. And I begged you. I pleaded. For once, you never listened to me. You went ahead. You killed the vibe. Fair enough. But now that there's a baby in the picture, what is the way forward? Good. I will tell you the way forward. Chelsea, get rid of that baby. Better still, take that child to your motherless baby's home, to the orphanage. Take that child to your mom. Let that child be with your mom. Then you can come back to the one that loves you. I will accept you. I will take care of you. I will accept you like no other person. You know I love you. That child is a distraction. That child does not belong to this marriage. That child is not what I want. All I want is you and you and you alone. Then watch me. Watch me kill a tiger for you. I will swallow a python for you. I will love you. I will treat you like an angel. I will make love to you like nobody will ever. I will take you to El Dorado. It's unbelievable. You get rid of his son. What has he been smoking? I wonder. If his father got rid of him when he was in here, would he have been alive now? What is wrong with him? I don't know. I don't know how Maxwell could suggest that I, I, I give my baby up for the orphanage. I don't know. What? Or, or, or better still, 
leave, leave him with my mother. And that will not happen. My grandson will grow with his parents. Don't worry, I'll have a word with him. He's my son. Is he mad? Where is he getting this madness from? I wonder who is giving him the extra training. I will sit him down and get his brain straight. Don't worry. I will talk to him. Mommy, I hope he listens to you. Oh, he sure will. I will have a word with my son, my dear. Let me have my grandson. Thank you. Come here, you chicken baby. My grandson. Oh. Why is it that you don't want to understand your son? Mom, understand me. I said I don't want to be a father. I don't want any child. I don't want children in my life. And now, the marriage and the child. Chelsea must do what I ask her to do. I am the man of the house. I can't just imagine going out with my wife to have fun and she's distracted by a baby at home that she has to come back to take care of. I cannot stay in my room without the cry and disturbance of a baby. No, mommy. I don't want that. That is what is making me go crazy. I don't want it. Whose son are you? Because I can't recognize the man sitting in front of me right now. I am Maswell, your lovely son that also loves you so dearly. You know I can, I can pull down this word for you because of the love that I have for you. But the problem is you have refused to understand me. Mom, forget culture, forget religion. Just understand your son. I don't want disturbance in my life. I want to live my life with my wife all alone. Happy. As well. Oh. I'll give him a big thinking. And I have come up with a solution. Chelsea will not give up her child. And you don't want the child in this house. You don't want that child to interfere with your life. So I think that the best thing would be to bring in a nanny. A nanny to take care of the child. While you both go ahead with your life and enjoy it the way you want it. Mom, thank you very much for your deep thinking. I, I love it so much. But permit me to ask a question. Mm -hmm. Will this nanny stop this baby from crying in this house? Because I do not want to hear the voice of the baby. Not when I am doing my business, trying to seal one deal, a cry of baby will come to interfere. Or when I'm watching football with my friends, the cry of baby is interfering in our discussion. Or when I want my wife, I want privacy with my wife, the cry of baby will stop it. I want to know with this nanny, Stop this baby from crying in this house. Are you stupid? Why won't the child cry? Oh. Have you seen it now? You are not thinking the way I am thinking from the other angle. Mom, I do not want the stubbornness of the child. That's it. I do not want a child. What? Should I kill myself to explain that and to drag it home? Are you mad? Have you lost it? You don't want the child to cry. If you didn't cry when I gave birth to you, would you have been here? You don't want the child to cry in your house. What is wrong with you? Do you know what it means to have a child? So many people are out there praying for God to give them a child. Some go to different places, spend so much money, and see they don't see any evidence. And you, God, just bless you with a child, without stress at all. 
and you are here telling me your mother that you don't want the, the cry of a child in this house. Are you mad? But, but I am not so many people. I am Maxwell. I know what I want, and this is what I want. I don't want a child. I don't want children in my life. Simple. I just want me and my wife to enjoy our life to the fullest. Why do you want me to live your own life for you? You are mad. Mom, I must have a grandchild in this house. What do you mean? Mom, I will not discuss this issue again. This is the last time I will discuss this issue in this house. You must be very crazy. I gave birth to you. What are you saying? God. Hi. Something I want to tell you. The baby's food. The baby's food has finished and even his diapers. I just have a few pieces left. It won't even be enough for today. My beautiful wife. You know, when I hear your voice, melts my heart. But you know whatever you say to me must be done. Either wrongly or rightly. But it's not this one. I'm so, so sorry. I don't have money to spend on that child of yours. I told you never to get pregnant. I told you never to have a child, but you insisted as if you were going to take care of him yourself. So that if that child cannot eat what you are eating, well, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. You better find a way to provide for his needs. I do not have the cash, the time, the energy for extra responsibilities. Sugar, please come and join me. This is native rice. It's sweet. souls. Why are you so much stubborn? Hello. Vera, please. I need your help. What is it? Please, Vera. My baby's food has finished, and his diapers too. Please, I just have a few pieces left. It won't even be enough for tomorrow. Please, don't even worry about it. Okay, you just um, text me exactly what you need while I change into something else. Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you so much, thank you. I don't even mention. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. so much. Thank you. Ah. Your one friend I can always rely on. God bless you. I appreciate. It's okay, Chelsea. Ah, what are friends for? <laughs> huh. But 
How long do you want to continue like this? I know things might be difficult now. Because Maxwell doesn't want to support me, especially when it comes to the baby's needs. But I just, I just hope, hope things will just change and honestly. If this marriage is not working, why don't you just let it go? How much more are you willing to take just to be under a man? I understand what you're saying. But you know, while I was growing up, it was only my mother that I had by my side. I didn't even experience a fatherly love. And I don't want the same thing for my child. That's why I'm still sticking around. Is he not experiencing it already? Look, you need your peace of mind, so it's better you work out now. Marriage is not a do or die affair. Maxwell just needs time, okay? With time, he will come around. He just needs to be a little more mature than this and everything will be okay. If he's not mature at his age, meanwhile you are mature, then he's never going to be better. Use your tongue to count your teeth. It's okay, just thank you so much for everything. I appreciate it. Let me see my baby a bit. <laughs> I just want to see my baby. Baby. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Auntie is here. Look at what Auntie got for you. She's so beautiful. All right. Right. As your friend, I put it to you that you are not doing the right thing. You cannot deny that child of his fatherly rights. Listen, everybody in life has to adjust at some point, and yours is no exception. I think that you and Chelsea have to find a way to make things work and take care of your child. I'm not sure I'm the one you're talking to because you're sounding incoherent. What you're saying does not concern me. Look, I have said it, I do not want anything to do with that boy. I don't want him and I don't want him. Are you going to kill me for it? Why is that nobody wants to understand where I'm coming from? I don't want anything to do with a child, you, simple. You make me laugh. What were you expecting when you were sleeping with her, unprotected, and that stuff that you were inserting into her? Was it water or orange juice? Can I ask you a question? Go on. How much did she pay you? Half the profit. No, no, no. How much did she pay you to deliver this sermon? Because you're doing a good job. But I tell you, this your job is very hectic. But you know what? It's not penetrating. I don't want that boy. And I don't want that boy. I don't know why nobody wants to understand where I'm coming from. I don't want that child! You can say all that you want. All that you want, but all I'm saying is you need to take responsibility for your child. Okay. Chelsea will hear from me. She must do what I ask her to do. She must do my bidding. I don't want that child and she must not get pregnant. Why did she get pregnant in the first place? She's a woman. She can take care of herself. <laughs> so you think because she's a woman, she has to succumb? Come on. In this day and age? By the time I'm through, with her, she would not have any choice than to come back begging. Do you know why? Women will constantly need the support of men. They cannot survive without the support of men. So she will come begging, finally. Is that what you think? Ever ask yourself why a woman is always demanding from men? Have you? They did us. We are their backbone. We are the paymasters. We will keep paying whilst they are demanding. That is a woman for you. What is this book have you played now? That's not a red card offense now. It is. How? It is. Just you just take a look. Come on. Can you 
Please, tell her to stop the baby from crying. The noise is interrupting the flow of this match. Excuse me? Are your brains functioning at all? What? I'm asking you, are your brains functioning at all? How could you come to a man's house, ask him to go tell his child, a baby for that matter, to stop crying? Are you serious? Really? But we know Max here doesn't like the child. And you? Do you need psychological evaluation? No way. Of what business of you is this? You come to someone's house, ask him, tell his son, a child, to keep quiet. Point of correction. Be careful. I am not the biological father of that boy. You can deny it for all you like. You are the father of the child. Get that into your head. Being the father of that boy does not change the fact that I do not want him. Seriously, I do not want him or any other child for that matter. May God have mercy on you. Listen, you see, that child's existence in my life is bringing a whole lot of trauma. I pray that one day does not lead me to strangling him to death. What is all this silly noise all about now? Eh? Why is this kid making noise up and down, disturbing my friend and I that are watching football downstairs? It is because you people are there making noise. It is your intermittent cherry there that is making this baby cry. Oh, 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 I'm watching football with my friends. And you said we are making noise. So this silly boy now eh, is more important than I and my friends, Abby. Eh? You people should stop making noise over there. You have been smoking something very hard. I'm not smoking anything. I'm not smoking anything. I'm here trying to make the baby stop shouting. But you people are there making noise too. He's making everything worse. For goodness sakes, we're not the only people here. We have neighbors here. But you people will not stop shouting. What's my business with neighbors? I am in my own house. Oh, you're going to stop me now from saying my mind because you have a, you have a, a silly son that, that, that is making noise up and down? Give him breast now or do something. Listen, eh? I don't want to hear his noise again. If I come back again, you won't like it. Hey guys, sorry man, sorry, it's been taken care of. So, what's his cause? See the way we do. Ah, two one. Um, well. Sorry, excuse me. Until I finish watching. Food. Can you imagine? Oh, yeah. I'm not going. My friend is. I'm not going anywhere. So you are telling me now because Billy is asking to do so. Guys, Stay listen. Down. What are you guys doing? You are the cause of this. What do you want us to do? That's stupid of you to ask. Rubbish. Thank you so much. Thank you for. Thank you for standing in for me and my baby. Thank you. I'm sorry to have a fool for a friend. You know, I just pray that for his own sake he realizes his mistake and, and change ASAP. I wish my husband can be as much as you are, honestly. I just wish. I mean, listen, it's very cold out here and there are mosquitoes all over. It wouldn't be too long that the child might even catch a cold. You know what? This nonsense has to stop. Alright guys, the party is over. What? Are you insane? What was that you did? Put it on the television that I'm watching. As what? Your wife and son are out there in the cold, being bitten by mosquitoes and you're here. Drinking and watching football match with these jerks. Let me ask you, Crystal. Is this your house? This is my house. What gave you the effrontery to go and put on the television that I'm watching? Are I, you okay? I have every right to do so. 
I am your friend and your conscience, okay? I will not let you treat them the way you just did. No, no, no. Are you, are you okay? Listen. No. Are you, are you, 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 you stop, stop, stop. just leave me. Come down, come down. You are nothing but an unreasonable fool. I am unreasonable. Fool. Unreasonable fool. What would the unreasonable person do to me now? In my house. In your home. I'm calling you a fool. fool. What can you do? Now I am going to show you what unreasonable men do. To I dare you. Stop it. Stop I it. dare no, you. Stop no, it. No, guys, no, please. No, 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 no. Stop it. Uh, what is this? What happened? Your husband is so childish. Sorry. And we ended up in a fight. It doesn't even matter. Let me take you guys to my place and I will come and drop you in the morning when he's back to his senses, okay? Come on, let's go. No, 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 catch you, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I cannot leave my home. I can't. Me and my baby cannot follow you, please. I know Maxwell is behaving childish right now, but we just can't leave. And I don't want this to affect your friendship with my husband, please. Just forget about my friendship with your husband, okay? I don't mind doing this. Let me take you to my place. I'll bring you back in the morning. No, me, me and the baby will be fine. We'll, we'll, I'll, 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 I'll sort us out. We'll be fine, okay? There's no point. Not now that everywhere is calm. We'll just go up back upstairs, please. Thank you so much for everything. God bless you, but uh, okay. we'll be fine. Okay, but are you sure? <laughs> yes. Are you certain you want this? <laughs> yes, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay, but call me. <laughs> call me in case of anything. If anything happens, just call me, okay? Call please. Call me. And I'll call in the morning to check up on you. Thank okay, you. please just take the baby inside. It's, it's cold out there. Okay? I will, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! Clap for yourself. You have done well. Defender of the universe. You have finished my Tyson. Clap for yourself. You are enjoying yourself, Nabi. You are enjoying your victory. Have you not finished me? Look at me. As a young man. I was happy. I go to anywhere that I want to go to. Come back at any time that I wish to come back. Without thinking of one problem or the other. Just keep enjoying myself. But what did you do? You came in with marriage. And this thing you call a son to scatter my have you not finished my whole life? Look at me. The worst is that catching my best friend that we are not quarreled before. We sit down, discuss meaningful things, discuss business. If money comes, we will share it equally. Have drinks together in happiness and oneness. Now, I don't sit with Kachi to discuss anything. Anytime we sit is your matter and this idiot's matter that you call a son that we are discussing. You have finished me. Look at me. I am a shadow of myself. Look at me. You have finished me. You have killed me. I don't think of any other thing again. My head is full. Everything is finished. I think the best thing, please, take your wahala and leave my house. Both of you should live my life alone. I am not interested in the marriage again. I don't want again. Move! Are you asking us out of your house? Do you need an idiot card? I'm sorry. We're not going anywhere. Eh? You heard me. We are not going anywhere. You think you're the only one that has sacrificed? Newsflash. I have put in my life, my sweat, my blood, my time and energy just to make this relationship work. Okay? Well, you thought I didn't enjoy the life I used to live before? Is that what you think? Mr. Maxwell Bakare, roll up your sleeves and start taking your responsibilities. You will not leave it on my shoulders alone, okay? We are not going anywhere. We will not go anywhere. And I am tired of this, your attitude. Then leave, go! You are tired, go! We are not going anywhere. We will not go.
I need money to take care of this child. This one that Maxwell is not ready to accept him yet. It means I'll be taking charge before his senses return. But what will I do with Junior? Of course, I cannot take him to work with me as he's not allowed. Maxwell has not given me money for food for over four weeks now. I don't even know if that will change or not. If it doesn't, then I'm in for trouble. I need to act and fast. Yeah, I'll be there in the next uh, 15, 20 minutes. Do, okay. do you have a minute? No, I'm, I'm rushing out, but um, I can give you some. Okay. But make sure that what you're about to say is not boring. Is that okay? Good. I want to go back to my job. I met my boss yesterday, so... He said I can come back to work. I I need to start work so I can take care of myself and our son. Since you no longer care about our welfare, you would rather prefer to eat outside. Mm. Wow. Congratulations. Good news. Back to work. At least I can have a breath of fresh air in this house. I hope you are going with him as you going to work because I do not want a visitor in my absence. No, I intend to get him and that will help me take care of him when I'm at work and then when I get back from work, she can go. Wait, my love. I don't understand you. How many times have I told you that I do not want an extra stranger in this house? You're bringing a stranger and I told you that I do not have the capacity to feed an extra mouth. Now you're bringing a Danny and your son to mouth to feed. But you know I don't have that kind of time to do. An extra mouth? Have you even fed us in the past one month? Oh, Auntie, sorry. This is my house. For security sake, I don't want anybody to stay in my house in my absence. Please, just arrange yourself. Thank you. Can I go now? Thank you. I'll say this one last time. Everything that happens in this life is all about choice. And everything we allow to happen to us is as a result of the choices we make for ourselves. Maxwell made a choice to not be a father. You made a choice to be a mother. He decided to not accept the child and you decided to be in this marriage. So now you have a child. And I cannot always be able to assist you financially. So you have to regain your financial independence. Maxwell is doing everything possible to frustrate you and make you lose yourself, and that is already happening. Babe, corner are the days when women sit at home and wait for a man to cater for their every needs. In this era, women are providers. Women are doing as much as men are doing. So what are you saying? I'm not saying you should leave your marriage. That is your choice to make. What I'm saying is that you have a child, 
So do right by him and do not be afraid. If his father does not love him, then love him like a father and mother should. If getting a nanny will help this issue, then by all means do so. That is the point. He said he doesn't want a stranger in this house. Ah. Yes. That's a good point. Him not wanting a stranger in this house. But is that his reason? Or is he just looking for another excuse to frustrate you? I don't know, Messi. Okay. Let's think of something else. What if you enroll him in a daycare? You drop him off in the morning on your way to work and pick him up when you're coming back from work. What do you think? You know, I never really thought of it. It sounds like a good plan, but there's but a problem. What? What problem? I'm sure daycare centers close by 5 p.m. And sometimes I close by 7 p.m. from work. So what do I do? Ah, you have a point. And that means that won't work. Okay, wait. What if you drop him off in the morning on your way to work and I pick him up by 5? Since I've been closing by 4.30, now my boss is not around. But that is only now my boss is not around. When he comes back, we'll have to think of something else. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is just the perfect plan. Oh, God. Don't, oh, don't, don't mention. <laughs> I wonder what you do without me. Right. Yeah, probably rob a bank. Problem. My boss just called and he's coming back in two this time. Two days time? Yes. Hey. And you know what that means? I'll be closing from work late. Hey. What do we do about Junior? I don't know. Wait, he wasn't supposed to come back in two days time now. We have to figure something out, you oh, know that. God, what do I do now? What do I do now? What do I do now? <sighs> Chelsea, I know exactly how you feel. Trust me, I know what you're going through. But you are the best person to take care of that child. I can't do it because of my health and my business. Please, look for a way around it, okay? Okay, mommy, no problem, so. I'll figure something out. Got an idea. Great, my grandson. What do I do now? I can't quit my job and I can't even carry you to work. Oh, God. Has being a working class lady rid you of your manners of knowing that you should knock on someone's room before coming in? I will not knock before entering my room, okay? The fact that I left her in the first place was out of respect. So please, don't abuse it. Anyway, I'm not here to fight. So what are you here for? Say it and leave, oh? Have you suddenly realized that you have mixed this manly body? Oh, God. Go ahead. Flatter yourself. I won't stop you. I came here to tell you that I'll be getting a nanny for our baby, okay? I can't continue taking him to work every day. 
I need a nanny that will come to this house and watch the baby while I go to work. Wow! Bravo! Let me tell you something. I do not want another stranger. I do not want a stranger in this house. Look, I will not feed an extra mouth. If you know what to do to your son, do it. It's either discard him, take him to the motherless babies, or better still resign and do the nanny job here. Yeah, I am not bringing one naira. Let me ask you a question. Did you ever love me? 100%. Or was it just my body that you loved? Because if you ever loved me, then you will know that love is all about sacrifices. But there's no need to cry over spilled milk. I have said what I came here to say. And my decision is final. Excuse me. Um, excuse me, sir. Are you so everything okay? Yes, sir. I I want to make a request, sir. Go ahead. What's your request? Please, can I get seven days off work? I have some things I need to sort out. Seven whole days? Yes, sir. I promise I'll be working from home. Is there any problem you'd like to share? It's actually something I want to take care of myself, but I promise it won't affect work because I'll be working from home if you grant the request, sir. It won't affect your job? No, sir. I promise it won't, sir. Okay. In that case, you do a letter to my secretary. Okay, sir. Uh, as soon as I get to the office tomorrow, I'll see what I can do for you. Thank you so much, Be sir. Be nice. God bless you. God bless Thank you. you. Are you? I'm Rita. I came to see my boyfriend Max. Are you Max's sister? No. And who are you? I'm his wife. We have a son together. No, 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 no. Don't bother. Come back. Sit down. Aren't you here to have fun? With Max, your boyfriend? It's fine. Baby, who are you having fun? We're gonna have some fun tonight. Wow, you here? Baby, I hope she didn't insult you. Did she talk to you anyhow? How come you didn't tell me you were married? What is this all about? I don't understand it. Hey, baby, listen, you came here to have some fun, so let's have fun. No, hold on. Truth be told, you don't need to do this in the house. This attitude of yours, you need to take it outside. At least as a sign of respect to your wife and your baby. Listen, baby, I do not have a son. I do not have a baby. Listen, no. Let's have fun. No. I brought you here, isn't it? She said she's your wife. Have you heard from me? Please, I need to go. I don't, I don't like, I don't just like all this. Are you okay? No, no, no. Is something wrong with you? How long will it take you to come and open the door? Listen, let this be the first and the last time this will happen. Can you imagine? The next time you keep me waiting outside in my own house for this long, what I will do to you, you won't believe it. Nonsense. No dinner. Dinner? You don't keep dinner for me. Maxwell. Dinner. No, no, no. By 2 a.m. in the morning. Are you, are you talking to me that way? Are you mad? Nonsense. I cannot continue like this. 
This is not the life I planned for myself. I can't keep doing this to myself, no. Wake up, Chelsea. Chelsea, wake up. Sorry? What did you say? I said I want a divorce. I have tried. I am tired. I have pleaded. Yet you keep treating me our, and our son like we are nothing to you. I want out of this marriage. I can no longer continue. I'm done. In as much as this is hard for me to believe and uh, I am not even proud of what I'm about to say. But I want to plead with you to stay. I understand that my son has refused to accept his son. Just stay. We'll look for a way out of this. We'll talk about it. I don't want you to go out there and the society will begin to talk about something that they know nothing about. The society? Yes. Mommy. I'm not sure I care about the society anymore. Where was the society when Maxwell threw myself and our son out in the cold to sleep? Because he doesn't want to hear the cry of a baby in this house. Where was the society when Maxwell left me and the baby to starve? Where was the society when I kept calling on Vera, my friend, to come take me to the salon, to come buy me baby things? Where was the society when I kept pressing my friend Vera for my needs? The society owes me nothing. And I owe the society absolutely nothing. Don't worry about your grandson. I will take care of him. I promise you that. But my daughter, please, I, I really want you to stay. Mommy, please. There is no need trying to fix this marriage. It will no longer work. For goodness sakes, mommy. I am tired and sick of all this treatment I get from Maxwell. Nobody will wish this for his daughter. I want out. I'm no longer interested. I don't want my grandchild to be raised by his mother alone. Don't worry, I will talk sense into him. Mama, we have been talking to him, but he's always adamant and he never listens and I'm hoping against hope that this time around he will listen bro what have you got to say? Kachi there is no need asking Maxwell what he wants there is absolutely no need Maxwell here is not ready to take up the responsibilities of that child I will leave okay he doesn't want a nanny to help me while I walk so I can take care of myself and my child he just wants me to stay in this house. Yes, he won't provide anything for me and, uh, and my baby. So why will I stay? I'm done. He's an adult, but he's not ready to act like one. Can you give him a second chance in case he decides to do better? Just please be patient and allow us the opportunity to speak to him collectively <sighs> as we are all here. Bro, what do you have to say? Please convince her to stay. I want to thank you all for your time, patience, and this matter. But my wife knows that I love her so much. I love her to the point of bringing down this building for her. And I have also told her that if she wants to be with me in this house, she should jettison that thing she calls a child. Come back. I will embrace her happily. We will live, have fun, and enjoy ourselves together. I've always said I do not want children. What else do you want me to say? Well, Mama, since you are so keen in having a grandchild, you have one. Go to your house. Take him. Take care of him. Have fun. 
I don't want to see him anywhere around me. I don't want any distraction in my life. Is it so hard for people to understand? Is it? Simple. Mommy, this right here is the issue. I am done making sacrifices for Max's selfish interest. I will not do it again. I want out of this marriage. It's very simple. Maxwell here is an adult, but he's not even ready to act like one. I will go. Vera, please help me. Get my bags. I already packed my things. Because I knew this whole conversation was going to be pointless. I am going. Excuse me. So you want to sit here exactly and thinking. watch your wife live with your son simply because you want the child out of this house, you want to live your life the way you want it. Gang up! My mom has abandoned me whilst my supposed wife left with my baby. Have you seen the gang up? Do you know what? I am a man. I am so happy I stood for what I believe in. I do not want children and I am not ready to have any child. Good. You deserve a round of applause and a standing ovation for this lovely speech. You are the worst person alive. I mean, you are nothing but a narcissist, selfish, a destructive person who only relishes on his supposedly wife terminating pregnancy each day in, each day out. All for what? Your ego. You talking to me in that manner? You talk to me in that way. Tell me, are you sleeping with her? Are you sleeping with my woman? Oh, that's why. This period, it's time we talk. You talk about her. Listen, man, I tell you what, I am standing my ground. Not you or any other person can change my stand. Now get out of my house. I said, get out of my house. I am trying to calm myself down. Only because I have respect for your mother in there. I know and have respect for my elders. Can't your lucky spot if your mother is here? But if you are a man. Ah, oh, man, this headache again. Chelsea. Chelsea, please get me a cup of coffee. Chelsea, I said get me a cup of coffee. Why is this sitting room untidy by this time? Chelsea, why is this sitting room not tidied up? Are you not going to work today? She's not responding. Chelsea! I'm talking to you. Chelsea! 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 Chelsea. What is going on? This is serious. Huh? 
and she moved. I thought she was joking. Oh, it can't be possible now. Ah, not with this small play will they play. She can't just leave now. Don't you think I came down here to make peace? I came to pick up my wallet that I left here yesterday. What are you doing? Will you stop this? What is this? What is wrong with you? Who are you? Kuleba. Good, get up. Will you get up? Get up! Get up! Your mother called me. She told me everything. What are you doing to yourself? She left. Chelsea has left me. And it's killing me gradually. I've gotten so used to her. I, I can't... I can't imagine staying in this house all alone without her. I mean, without her attending to my needs and trying to do things for me. It's... Maxwell, let me get this straight. So, is this the only reason why you want them back? No. You know, I love Chelsea so much. I've treated her so badly. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready to make amends. I love her so much. I can't do without her. I've gotten so used to her. I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I, I, I mean, you keep saying her, her, her. How about your son? Mm -hmm. I'm so happy you finally moved into your own apartment. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, you've been of great help to Junior and I. I wouldn't be here if you were not there to help us. <laughs> Thank you, my dear friend. You're more than a sister to me. You don't have to mention. You don't have to say thank you. We are sisters, like you said, right? Yes. My only issue is that I will miss Junior here. <laughs> and Junior will miss his second mom. Oh, you know, he's so used to you I'm now. I'm telling you. <laughs> baby. Look at him. Look. Such a cute boy. <laughs> Big boy. <laughs> I have cleaned the house. And I've made food for you. You have enough in the fridge. So take care of yourself. Thank you, Mom. I appreciate it. I hope now you understand the essence of a companion. Many will be happy to have what you got on a platter of gold. But a stupid boy like you will never appreciate anything. I'm leaving.
I'm in. Who's that? So, what are your plans? She will come back to me. It's been a month. Don't worry. She's only been stubborn. So, don't you miss them enough to go searching for them? Guy, I do miss them like heaven. But you know what? As a man, I don't have to cheap in myself going to look for her. She loves me so much. She can't do without me. She will come back begging me. God, you never cease to amaze me. But you know what? For your sake, I do hope that you are right. She knows I love her. She can't do without me. Okay, let's see. Vera, please. I've come here to take Chelsea's address. Or you call the police and arrest me. Because I am not living here again without accomplishing my mission. Which one do you choose? What exactly is wrong with you, eh? You just won't take no for an answer. Then give me the address, or you call the police to arrest me. How did you find me? What are you doing here? I finally found you. What do you want? You look amazing. You look so beautiful. I've missed you so much. Honestly, I've just realized that you mean so much to me. I can't, I can't, I can't live without you. 
this past few months has been very, very difficult for me. I've looked for you everywhere. I've called your numbers and the numbers are not connecting. I also went to your office to see if I could find help there, but they told me that uh, you have long stopped work. And Vera wasn't helping matters. I tried to convince her, but it didn't work. But recently, I intensified my effort. At last, she gave me your house address, and that's why I'm here. For what exactly? Please, please come back to me. Please, I beg you. I know that what I did is not good, is that it's not deserving of a human being, but please find it in your heart to forgive me. I'm a changed man now. I am ready for any punishment that you give to me. Please. A man who doesn't want his child now wants me back. Please, what happens to this child? has grown into a big boy now. I'm sure he wouldn't bother much. Oh. So you're still going on with this? Well, I'm sorry, Master Bakari. It is too late. Chelsea, it can never be too late. Listen, I am ready. I'm willing to accept you back. I'm our son. Look, I am ready to provide everything for you. I promise to keep you first in everything that I do. Please come back to me. I love you so much. Maxwell, I'm not coming back to you. We will not come back to you. We have moved on with our lives. My blood pressure is now normal. I am good and my son is even better. Okay? Please, get out of this place. Chelsea, I hope you know I have not signed any divorce papers. You are still married to me. Oh, just hold on. Okay? Hold on. Very soon, I will get the divorce papers to you. After all, I can't still be connected to you and be getting married to another man. What did you just say? You heard me. I am getting married to a better person than you are. A man who is more mature. A man who is ready to take responsibilities. And not someone who is old, but still doesn't act like it. Over my dead body. I will not allow this. You are not getting married to another man. You are my wife and you will remain my wife forever till death do us part. Maxwell Bakari, watch and see. Excuse me. Get out of this place, Maxwell. Don't make me shout. Even if you Son, how did he go? Did you find her? Yes, I saw her. Oh, Chelsea rejected me. She pushed me far away from her with her words. She said she does not want to belong to me anymore. Mom, could you imagine that Chelsea told me that she's Getting married. It's mm. like. No, Maxwell! I can never allow it to happen. Not whilst I'm alive. She belongs to me. She belongs to me forever. She's mine forever! So what were you expecting? That she should pause her life because of you? She had to move on. Time is not by her side. You expected her to wait until you get to the market and buy sense for yourself and to the right. Is that what you were really expecting? Son? No way. 
I will not allow that to happen. That will not happen whilst I'm alive. Chelsea belongs to me. She belongs to me forever. No man will touch her. I will stop that marriage. What nonsense. Because that guy is going to treat her badly. I know men. I know who we are. If he's taking what he wants, everything will be scattered. I will not let that happen. If your son could go through uh, my treatment from you, uh, getting it from a stranger wouldn't be so hard for him. Don't Mom, you think so? Are you, are you not supporting her to go get married to another man? That's not what I'm saying. So well, what are you saying? What I am saying is that she deserves to be happy. If that marriage gives her happiness, she deserves that. She deserves to be happy. Yes. And your dear son deserves to be sad. Son? I'll get you a glass of water. Mom, it will not happen! I am not Mom! It will not! Why do you want to kill yourself? You sent your family out by yourself. So what do you want? Mother, I want my lovely wife and my son back to where they rightfully belong. All of a sudden? That is not possible. You said you did not like the child. In fact, you do not want children. Mama lied. Scared. Scared about what? Scared of being replaced in my woman's heart by the love of a child. What are you blabbing about? Adam, I just uh, spoke with her mom. She said I should say hello to you. She said I should greet you. Ah, we men. You see? She couldn't even call me to know I'm Perry. She called the son. Where well, is the irony of life? You see, at first, she would throw in the love to you, give you every attention. But when the child comes, the love will shift it. And when it becomes children, oh, you are related to the background. Even at some point, I was even begging for her attention. You don't say. That's serious. See, my son, when I was much younger, if I passed along the road, people would call me or greet me. How are you, sir? How is your work? As soon as I got married, the narrative changed. The greeting changed as well. He greeted me, sir, how is madame? How is, how is everybody? As soon as you came, and the story changed. They started greeting me. Oh, God, it's your family. That is life. How is your family? Do you know, at some point, I, I used to beg your mother for time. Yes. You are a mature person. I think I could be free to talk to you. Do you know, sometimes I beg for sex. What? Because she was taking care of you. So, our love keeps deteriorating. Our love suffered, and we lost it. You see, if it's no more all about me or all about us, this time around, man, it is all about you. You are not the center of attraction. You see? So, my son, I want to advise you get all the whole enjoyment, all the whole thing you need to get from a woman. Because when the child comes, <laughs> you have forgotten. Everything is changed. What is going to be? So your father told you all that, and you never bothered to tell me about it. <sighs> so that is why you drew this conclusion of not having children, right? Mom, I was scared of ending up like father. Mom, kissed messed everything up in my dad. I didn't want that to happen to me. Please. I'm 
have to help me. Son, that was your father's perspective. We grew apart when your father decided to have an extramarital affair. So I didn't want that to bother me. So I channeled all my energy, everything towards you. And also made myself happy with whatever I, I found around. When your father wanted to come back, I was far gone. I was far gone emotionally. I tried. I tried to go back, but found out that things were, were different. And when he decided to relocate her brother, I wasn't bothered to go with him. Mom, please. I want my family back. Mom, I know you are the only one that can do this. Son, what do you want me to do? You said that she is getting married. So, how do you want us to change that? Mom, please. I do not want her to belong to another man. Mom, you are a woman. You are a mother. Talk to her like one. She will listen to you. Please, don't let her leave me. She belongs to me. Oh, but you brought another woman home. You with her. Yes, mommy. It was just a gimmick to make her jealous. I want her to be pushed to a very difficult position where she would realize drop the child and come back to me, but mommy backfired. She proved you wrong. Why did it take you this long to realize it? Mom, mom please. Mom, please. You can do something. Son, there is nothing I can do. You can do everything. See, I was thinking, because she loves me so much that she cannot stay and take care of herself plus the baby without me. But, Mom, the way it's happening, I just need you as a woman to talk to her. No, please. No, honestly, there's nothing I can do. You see, you brought this upon yourself and you should look for a way to resolve this yourself. Oh, please, I'm the one this on. <sighs> what do you want me to do? No, please. Please. Chelsea, please now, please, I beg you. Please. Chelsea, please. I, I, I'm sorry for what I did. I know I've been a jerk and have caused you so much pain. Please now, forgive me. Please, do not leave me alone now. I cannot live without you and you know that. Chelsea, I love you so much, please. Please, for the sake of our son. Maxwell, what are you doing here? I, I, I bought, I bought this for our son. This child begged you for diapers and you refused. This same child begged you for food and for so many other things and you refused. Now, why do you think this child would need your toy? Maxwell, stop bothering us. I cannot stop bothering you because you belong to me. I love you. All I'm asking for is for you to give me the chance to apologize to you. I don't have Ed, but please, please. I have nothing. Come on, don't touch my child. I have nothing to discuss with you, okay? Stop bothering us. Stop showing your face around here. This son is mine and mine alone. Excuse me. Yeah, it's not fair now, please. Please now. Yeah?
What is wrong with Maxwell? Has he lost his mind? Well, I don't even care. Because whatever it is you're planning, it will never work for me. Rubbish. Any hope? No, but I'm not giving up. Okay, go in and freshen up. I've met food for you, okay? Okay, Mom. Thank you. Hello, he's still out here. Are you telling me he's still out there in the cold? Vera, he's still here. And I'm getting scared. I don't want anything to happen to him. Then let him in. What if he hasn't changed? How would you know if you don't get close enough to? Look, Chelsea, this is exactly what you've wanted, okay? So don't push it too far. Vera, I'm scared. Oh, don't be scared, darling. Huh? At least now he knows you're independent of him. Okay? Just just let him in. Okay. I'll I'll talk to you later. Okay, good night, baby girl. Yeah, just sleep tight. <laughs>
que eu fui. Sou eu. Sorry, I've given him his medication. The doctor said he'll be fine. That's good. I didn't want to come in, but I couldn't hold it anymore. Please, I beg you in the name of God, forgive my son. Okay? Take him back. Don't allow your anger to spoil the beautiful thing that is about to come. And I agree with her, Chelsea. I mean, look at him. He's changed. He's a reformed man. He's very, very Sorry. remorseful. You know what? I can certainly say that he will not repeat it going forward. Mm. I can vouch for him. He will never treat you and your son badly again. I promise you that. Mommy, it's okay. Let him just recover first. We'll talk about this later. For the sake of my grandson, you have to forgive him. Yeah. Mommy, it's okay. It's okay. And the amazing part is, even in this state that he's in, his every thought is you. You know, so please don't let him, like, just help him get better. Yeah. Okay? Please. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's making my Let me give him water before he starts. And uh, I'm going to attend to a few things in town. So, whatever your thought is, decision is, please let it be good, okay? My guy, <laughs> give me a call later. Also, we can get back together. You need to see a shrink. Yes. You need a psychological reevaluation. What are you saying? You're getting married. So, what time do I have to put this through before you become someone else's wife? Yes, he proposed to me, but no, I'm not getting married. I can't possibly get married to someone I don't really know that much. So tell me, as you left my house, what was on your mind? Didn't you think that it was going to be so impossible for me to live without you? You dehumanized me. You treated myself and our son badly. You raised your hand on me. Yeah. I'm ashamed of that. And I'm saying I'm sorry. That's the worst stage or state of my life.
to see me raise my hands on a woman. Talk less the woman that I love so much. Just because of stupidity. Anger. I tell you what. The last past few months has been a roller coaster of pains for me. Please. I can't stay in the house alone. I, it's 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 been a torture, a mental torture that you were even talking to another guy in the first place. But I managed. Oh, please, now that I have the access to talk to you, please, just know that you know I love you. I love our son. I promise I will treat him like a king. I'll treat him like a prince. I love you. Like I said, Max, you need to see a psychologist. I'm not about to risk my life and peace and sanity and that of our sons once again. I love you, but right now, I'm thinking beyond love. Okay, so just do what is right. Okay, cool. I accept. Get, get him. And he will see me subject myself to a session of his tutelage and his counseling. I will do that for you. I can't, I can't just spend another day without you by my side. Without you, without our son by our side. I'm sorry. It will happen again. Believe me. Hold on, Junior. Mommy's coming. Let's check. Who's at the top? Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Here. What is this? Something I brought for my beautiful angel and my son. Today is my first therapy section, and I thought it wise to come see you and the boy first so that uh, you can wish me well. All the best. Just that. Is that good enough? Perfect. <laughs> wow. Hello, Spider-Man. Hello. Hello, Spider-Boy. Mm. Daddy is so proud of you. Listen, boy. Hmm? Daddy is going out to better himself so that he can be able to take good care of you and mommy. <laughs> so, Daddy has come for you to wish him well. So, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> when you and Junior will be locked up together like this. I'm so happy. <laughs> Sudan, you are the best. You are the best gift that God has given to me. Do you know why? Because you made all this possible. <laughs> Thank you for not giving up on us. 
thank you for believing that I could change. So thank you for changing me. Look, I promise that we will never break up again. You are a woman of substance. I love you so much. I will forever remain your baby. I will forever remain your love. I will love you to the end of time. I promise you that. <laughs> I know that I've been so stupid and so foolish. You know what? I promise to love you and Gio more than ever. I promise I will put you first in everything that I do. Even in my business, I will always discuss everything with you because I know you like that tete a -tete. <laughs> You know what? I will forever love you. I will remain loyal to you. Because you deserve the best. I will give you everything good that you have ever wanted in life because you deserve it. Please, sweetheart, thank you for giving us another chance. <laughs>